people, we're getting a little bit of snow today. I'm stuck at the Bean's house. Give a shout out, Bean. Bean. We have a, a little bit of snow. And I think it's supposed to snow all the way into the nighttime. I think into the nighttime. I think it's supposed to snow into this evening. It's three o'clock right now. But look, I'm not complaining. Look how pretty it is. It's gorgeous. I don't think you can tell, but it's snowing right now here. Maybe if I put the camera here, I'm not sure. It's snowing really lightly. Like the snowflakes are really light. Oh, there's there. I think you can see it there. Hi, Dash. <laughs> Bug, you got an ice chunk hanging off your neck. Oh! <laughs> it's too bad I can't film in black and white. Maybe I would look better. I mean, it's doubtful, but. Thank you because you can change the color of the pictures to black and white. Yeah, but I, I don't think you can do that till after it's done. So yeah, I. I mean, I could probably change the video into black and white, but just not record that way. Hi, Dad. This is real life, people. I just woke up. This is real life, people. I'm stuck at the Beans house in a snow squall. No squall. We're about to have a fire. <clears throat> and then since I don't like to drive, I'm going to sit here until the hubs gets done with work and can come pick me up. Got the human being drink. Oh, bang. I wonder how long of a fast I could go on. Like, truly. You think that people would want to see me stop eating? No. <laughs> but if it was for my health benefit, maybe I'll record that, Bean. Well, you were doing good when you didn't have anything bad. Yeah, when I didn't eat. When I was eating chicken and broccoli and I was eating, like, literally three spoonfuls. People, yeah. Oh, okay. So we're gonna go out and um, put a measuring tape. No, we're gonna go out and put a yardstick in the snow, and see how many inches of snow that we got. But let me know if you guys want to see me stop eating, and I don't. I don't mean that in a way of. Look, your girl is sick. Okay, I'm sick. I'm sick, all the time, and nobody ever has answers. But as, instead of giving you all the details on that, and I know I've mentioned this several times now, so that's why I think maybe I should put it on my channel. I think we should see what happens to me if I stop eating. Now listen, I don't recommend it for everybody. Disclaimer, disclaimer, you shouldn't stop eating. But I am sick so much that I feel best when I don't eat. And maybe my body just needs a reset. So we're going to think about it. Okay, in the meantime, let's go see how much snow that we got outside. That's it? Only 10 inches? I'll do it there too. People can't see it. It's too dark. Will you walk this over there so that people can see? <laughs> steady, Bean. Steady. Steady. Man, I thought we would have a full foot. Ten inches is impressive when this is only half over. 
Well, you have a you have a point there. Mighty old bean? Are you are you a mighty bean? Not right now. Frozen bean? I'm a chili bean. <laughs> chili bean? All right, let's see. You guys, it's so beautiful. Guys, if you don't like snow, there's something wrong with you. Except Boots. Boots is allowed more. Move to, oh, except for you, Boots. Shout out to Boots. Texas gal. Well, you're allowed to hate the snow. Dash, do you love the snow? Oh, these two patches on Dash's back that have been shaved were because she had some medicine. Hi, huh, Dash. You want to tell the people? The rule of thumb is, is when, Hi. when the when the fuzz grows back, it's time to go again. Can, then she no, then she can play. play? Yeah. <gasps> Dash, how oh, sad, you don't get to play. Tell the people that heartworm is nothing to mess with. People, Dash has heartworm, in case you're wondering why, why she can't play and why, <laughs> why her ass looks get like that. Pop. Huh? Get a picture of Pop sitting in the snow. Pop, do you love the snow? Do you love it? Let's see what Scotty's doing. Hi, baby girl. Are you sitting in your favorite spot? Oh, are you sitting in your favorite spot? Oh, he's so cute. I don't think the people like my voice at that octave. What do you think, huh? What do you think? What do you think, Scotty, huh? All right, people. Building a fire 101. Safety 101. Talk about butane versus. This is a, a torch. When you want to light your fire, is it is it a good idea to use a torch? Yes. In the mountains. In the mountains, yes. Because. You want to do a visual? When you. Oh, Bean's going to give you a visual. Okay, so this is what happens when you try to light something with lighter fluid in the mountains. <laughs> Folks, as you can see here, your standard lighter will not light. Why is that, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you. Because up here at this elevation, there's less oxygen in the blood. In the blood. <laughs> Although that is true, that's not what I meant. Up here, there is less oxygen in the air. Take two. Take two. <laughs> Fire 101, take two. Fire 102 now. Fire, no, it's still an easy lesson. Okay, so anyway, there's not enough oxygen in the air. So this is what you get when you use a butane lighter. It's a torch. Because that is one of the only ways because this works a lot better. And there you have it, instant fire. Then for safety, you come back to your lighter and you lock it so that you don't catch anything else on fire. And that my friends is fire starting in the mountains 101. So basically, I'm gonna sit at Old Bean's house until the hubs is done working and have him come pick me up. Nothing better than a wintry day with lots of snow a warm fire, and a good friend. I hope you guys are staying warm today and safe. So I can't show you around too much because we're at Old Bean's house. But
transpire for two little fro frogs. Two little logs. They're going out to eat. Four frogs. Don't be, don't be roasting frogs. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of um, my biology class at Penn State where we dissected frogs. People, close, close your ears. You might not want to hear this. And, you know, they're supposed to do this big thing where they have them and then they kill them humanely somehow before you rip into them. And literally, we went into the lab, the lab and that, that day the, um, whoever was supposed to prepare the frogs hadn't done it and so our poor lab girl was back <laughs> was back there hitting them in the head with a hammer or something what? to kill them because we had to dissect them that day and they were all still alive and um, she didn't know what to do <laughs> on et didn't they like try to suffocate them with chloroform I have, or something i do not remember she was trying to kill them quick without like squishing them because we were doing like their guts a, a bash on the head would we just, in high school, we just did pickled frogs. Well, whatever we were supposed to do. They were supposed to be fresh, freshly dead, but... Did you do a baby pig? No. Those were sad. We did a cat. We did a cat in college. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, was college. I, well, we did frogs in high school. I think we may have done a pig in high school, too. Ew, ain't nobody want that. But we did cats, that was sad. Nobody wants to dissect a cat. Why do you want to give it a name? That's not nice. That was weird. Giving it a name or just doing a cat? Yeah, just the whole dissecting thing. Yeah, dissecting a cat is I no good. I never got to see a cadaver, like a human. We didn't do a human. Would you have wanted to? Sure. I'd rather dissect a human than a cat. If that tells you anything about how I feel about most people. Do you think that they would have somebody in the back bashing people on the head? <laughs> <laughs> I can see my bad person be like, I'm going to need an extra minute. <laughs> That's priceless. Woo! Nothing like inappropriate humor. Yeah, it's like surprising that I didn't invent that game, Cards Against Humanity. about to make some, I don't even know what to call it. It's not a tortilla. It's not an an bread. Look, I'm about to cook Cassava with tortilla. Cassava flour, but I don't have a tortilla press, so it's just, mm. it's thick. Thicker than a tortilla should be. All right, folks, cassava flour. We just talked about how I'm gonna go on a food strike soon. But before I do, I cook with cassava flour and make tortillas or a tortilla-like product because you girl done be sick from everything in the world. Anyway, cassava is a root vegetable. When I look at the pictures, it kind of looks like a potato and I believe it originates in Africa. So, but I don't think it's a nightshade or maybe it is, I don't know. Look, people, I don't know, okay? I'm just trying to make some dough so that I can put some peanut butter and jelly on it. One to one, quarter cup of the flour, quarter of cup of water. Quarter of cup, quarter cup of, quarter cup. Go ahead, Bean, I'll cut you out. Bean's gonna make a drive-by. Everybody, close your eyes. Am I in it still? Yes. They can see the back of your head, Bean. That's not looking good, I slept on it. 
Oh no! Oh, Bean got a haircut today. We also have another special the guest with us. Very last haircut, apparently. Your very last haircut? Because didn't you say everybody's closed till April thirtieth? When you have short hair, that's way too long to go without. On a top of what I've already had, I would have been um, like Afro Joe. People, we also have another special guest today, but he will not be making a presence. He probably won't even speak. Babe, you want to give a shout out to the people? He's there over there go. shaking his head. Yep. Okay, so you guys remember the hubs when we did our shelves? And I said, this is my babe. And he said, hey. <laughs> well, he's in the background waiting for old Bean to make some cookies. I'm going to put a little dab of butter in the pan. I think it's been Biscotti's birthday recently. You don't know when Biscotti's birthday is? No, I can't talk. I miss <laughs> I miss Yeti's birthday and probably Rome. She got some of Bugs cupcake though. Oh, or donut, okay. birthday donut. That's nice. Maybe I'll get her own donut tomorrow. We'll make tomorrow Welcome birthday. to being the middle child. Although I don't She's know what that's like because I'm not the middle child. <laughs> I'm the baby. Let's hear it for the babies. So you want the dough to have um the consistency of just any regular dough. Not too sticky so it doesn't stick to your hands. Not so dry that it crumbles. Beans back there thrown out. That's what she said jokes. What, you don't want it to stick to your hands? You don't want it to be sticky? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. I'm not gonna roll it out. I'm just gonna <laughs> make a mess with it. No, I'm just going to kind of flatten it a little bit and then put it in the pan with the butter. Let it cook up real quick and then it's just gonna basically be an open-faced peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Do it. Bug bug, come here. I gotta see a man about a dog. Of course you do. Buggy needs to see a mom about some cookie dough. Oh, come here. Is there Crisco in that? Uh-huh. Hey, bug bug. Do you guys still cook with Crisco? Nobody but me does, apparently. I'm pretty sure it's just an old bean thing at this point. My mom used it when we were younger. Mm -mm. Go now. <laughs> okay, let me show the people. Go Matt, do you want to go take them to the bathroom with them? Okay hey guys, this is what the cassava flour tortilla bread like product looks like in the can. It's a little bit thick because I don't have a tortilla press here. You only have to cook it for about three or four minutes on each side. It doesn't take very long. And then it will kind of have a, a bread like consistency. Almost, well, I shouldn't say like a, it's a little bit more doughy than a pita bread. Because I feel like pita bread is light and airy. Okay, this is the finished product. Wow, that, that does not look appetizing. Ooh. Well, only one side. Browns. Yeah, like, so this side like, will absorb the butter, and then this side just looks like flour. It just, like, looks, looks like bread. Like, um, pancake, because pancakes, I can never get my pancakes to look the same on both sides. Yeah. No. There's I the end product. Uh, I'm not saying it's the most amazing meal. It gives you a little bit of change of pace. But sometimes that's all you got, you know? That's all I got. So a lot of preparation just to make peanut butter and jelly. And this is Ben cooking with the bean. Beans cooking corner. It's kind of anticlimactic. Yeah. It's all right. And this is what I eat while my friend and my husband eat cookies. Do you feel bad for me? I didn't think so. All right, guys, we just left Old Bean's house. The hubs came to rescue me in the snow squall blizzard storm, and now we're driving home. And they, the roads are, ter ter I almost said terrific. 
<laughs> the roads are terrible. So I'm gonna spin you around so that um, so that you can see it. Guys, look at that. It is not plowed. Oof. Guys, we are socked in. You cannot see the mountain. All you see is 